Hello everyone, good evening, welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you are new here, welcome. And to all those who have subscribed, thank you very much. Please support your girl by sharing our video and also click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video. So thank you very much guys. So today I'm going to be showing you how to cut a um, kimono jacket. Is it a kimono jacket? I'm, although I normally call it a <laughs> cut together and sleeve gown. The sleeve and everything you are going to be cutting it together. You are not going to be cutting just the shoulder. You'll be adding the sleeve to it. So that's what I'll be calling it. Um, sleeve and cut together gown. Mm -hmm. If there is still any other name they call it, you can just comment it down so that I will know. So guys, what you need is your length, your gun length measurement and your shoulder measurement plus the length of the sleeve that you want. So if your shoulder is 7 inches, you are going to measure your sleeve length of what you want. Then you include it to it. So, so I'm going to check. So I'm going to check. I'm going to check if it's up to the shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement of what I'm looking for, both the sleeve, everything, is 15 inches. So 15 inches plus the folding of the sleeve, 1.5. That's 16.5 now. So I'm, I will measure now and see. So I think I have the 16.5 of what I'm looking for now. So that's the 16.5. <coughs> So the next thing I will do now is to I will measure the 1.5 for the folding so I will know. Then I will measure the shoulder. I'm sorry, I will measure the neck width. You know, this gun is not normally like those other peplum top. This one, the neck is not that open. So I will measure 3 inches for the neck width. 3 inches for the neck width. Then 3.5 for the neck depth. So I'll connect it now to meet with the 3 inches now. So I'll connect it like this. It's going to be a round neck. So then I'll measure the opening. The opening which is one. I'm using 4 inches for that opening. You can use more than that. So I'll just be using 4 inches. I'm sorry for using this um, paper for illustration. Though I'll be transferring it to my fabric. So I just want to use this paper to illustrate because the fabric I'll be using is too sharp. So for the shoulder slope, I will measure 1.5 for the shoulder slope. Then I will connect it now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not good at drawing. So I will use my tape to draw a straight line <coughs> to meet with the neck width measurement now. So that's it now. So the next thing you will do now is to insert your arm measurement. That's your sleeve arm measurement. So it's going to be divided by 2. If your armor measurement is 14, divide by 2 is 7. So I will not be making use of that 7. I will be adding extra 2 inches to it, making it 9 inches. Because I want it to be very free. I don't want it to be tight. So I will measure the 9 inches there now. So, that's the 9 inches. So I will measure my shoulder to my waistline, 16 inches. That's what I use. Shoulder to hip, I will be using 24 inches measure 24 inches then the next thing you come over to your under um, good evening your under your humble measurement so i'm going to go in by three inches i'm supposed to go in by two inches but i'll go in by three because of the folding so i'll make it three inches <coughs> so i'll draw the the line <coughs> i'll connect it now to meet with the three inches then you go over to your waistline the waistline i'm working with is 32 so 32 divided by 4, that's 8, plus extra 2 inches, which is 10. So I'll insert my 10 there. So I make use of 10.5. 10.5. So I'll connect it like that. <coughs> then for the hip now, the hip I'm supposed to work with is 40. But I want the hip area to be big. I mean, you know, something like type of a fake hip. So I'll add extra 4 inches to the 40. I'll divide it by 4 which is 11 plus extra 2 inches for ease that's 13 you connect it like that now you see the way the, sh uh, the way the shape is so I'll go to the downside now I'll minus 1.5 but 
but before that let me trim the down part so that it will be straight so i'm going to minus 1.5 from that 13 that i used for the hip you know the hip is 11 plus 2 inches 30 so i'm going to minus 1.5 then i'll use it to get the down part so that's the <coughs> i'm sorry guys so this is the shape now you can see the way it is if you want the hip to be bigger than that you can still add to it you can still make it to be big so but the next thing i will be cutting it out now then i will show you how it is guys so so after cutting it now i have something like this for the front now you see the shape of the front so this is how to cut your um, um cut together uh, gown <laughs> i'm sorry you i mean you can see call it kimono gown so if i want to cut the back now what i'll be doing is just to place my fabric on top this front fabric now place it on the back side now the only difference is that i will not be i will not be adding to it again the only difference would be the neck the neck width measurement so i just wanted to i'm going to place it now to cut it i'll place the front on top now so i'm going to instead of the neck depth of 3.5 for the front i'll be using just 1.5 for the back there's no zip allowance <coughs> since it's a free gun there's no zip allowance so i'll use 1.5 for the front then i'll use three inches for the neck width the same neck width but different neck depth that's just the only difference so i'll use 1.5 for the neck depth so that's it guys you connect it so you the next thing i will cut it out now so so guys if you have not yet subscribed please don't make me cry please subscribe and share our video click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video please guys we really need to get up to 1000 subscribers please 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 guys i'm begging <coughs> so i'm going to open it now with here the front um slit that i'll be putting just to that's how you are going to take it so you see so the next thing i will show you guys is how to cut your tony <coughs> i'll be showing you how to cut tony you just need small a little fabric to cut your tony your tony does not necessarily uh, it does not have to be big just small turn so i'll use the if you see that it's not to the length uh, opening for the front you change it use it to cut the back so you just want you to cut the same uh, exactly uh, the neck width there and the neck there that's it so you see the way the turn is now you just curve it so you just curve it like this so this is how the turn is for the back you can see it now so the next thing you do you use it now you place your fabric if you want to sew you place it on the front that's the front of your fabric and turn it to the back side that's how you are going to do it then after turning you can just use your interlocking to whip the edges then you hem you use your hemming gun to comb it or you can just mash it or you sew it on top of your fabric so i'm going to be doing the same thing to the front i'm still going to be cutting the same front turning for it now so this is how to achieve your kimono gown it's very simple guys very very simple you know the reason why we do this tutorial is not for those people that that are professionals the reason why i do all this video i try to make it very simple for the beginners those that are still battling with their tailoring job aspect that's why i'm just doing this so please if there is anything yours i'll just comment it down because I'm doing it so that we can help each other. That is just my mayhem of this song, this video. So you are still going to turn it the same way you are turning the back. The same procedure. You place it on the front, then turn it to the back. So this is it now. So you are going to sew it. You follow the same shape of the neck. Then after so you notch it a little, then iron it turn it to the back using your emigum to come it does it 
so if you want to join it now after turning you place your back and the front together you are going to sew the shoulder you join the shoulder and the other side so after joining it now guys i'll let me pin it so that you see so i'm going to pin it i'll finish pinning it now you see it looks like as if i've already joined it so you see that the gun is the shape of our gun is coming out a little so so let me show you now you see the way it is now after joining the shoulder you have something like this guys so you are going to open it now use your uh, interlocking machine or anyhow you want to do you can fold it twice you measure your 1.5 now so you are going to measure your 1.5 like this now then you use your iron to iron it then you sew it so that's how you are going to do the ammo measurement so after that guys you can then you are going to put it on your table then you shape it you can take your measurement and shape in it you can shape in it <coughs> or you can just use your normal and uh, good evening welcome you can just use your normal allowance to sew it but if you want to insert pocket to it now if you want to insert pocket let me show you how you are going to insert your pocket you are going to cut the length of your pocket let's assume the length 12 then the uh, wideness is 10 inches so you turn the front side you are going to turn the front side of your fabric out then you iron your uh, pocket first the length of the pocket you iron <coughs> the wideness of 10 the length of 10 so you are going to fold the first side then after folding you bring out your front fabric now then you iron you you are going to centralize it that's the center after ironing the center, you measure from your shoulder to your waistline. You can make it of um, 16 inches. So you measure 16 inches. If you want it to go down, that, that you can make it of 17. Then from the center of your fabric, you are going to measure 2 inches from that center. Then you place your pocket there. Then you are going to sew it on top of your fabric like that. So that's how you are going to achieve this gun, guys. It's very simple so that we have come to the end of today's tutorial guys thank you very much thank you very much for your support i really appreciate may god bless you stay safe bye